There's nobody that's going to admit that this is them. Literally nobody. But give this a listen and take a moment to do your own self-assessment. Welcome back to Design Today. I'm your host, Dylan Winspear. Today's episode is going to be pretty quick as I want to get straight to the point and allow you to use the extra time to do your own self-assessment before you move on with your day. I'm even going to keep the promotions to an abbreviated state. I'll leave it at this. Last week, I did a handful of one-on-one coaching sessions and they were amazing. Seriously, I absolutely loved them and I hope it shows for those who are able to take the chance to schedule those appointments. Don't wait any longer. If you're stuck in your career and you don't know the best way to move forward, let's jump on a call and let's figure things out together. Those coaching sessions can be scheduled by visiting designtoday.com, heading over to the courses page, and next to the free UX resume course, you'll find a coaching session option. I hope to see you and meet you soon. And back to today's episode, I gave it the working title of The Tortured Designer after I was working with a fellow creative last week and talking just about this. I can't tell you how often I encounter a designer who explains to me how difficult their life is at their company. I hear things like, they don't listen to me, they don't respect me, and they don't even care what I have to say. Woe is me, how tortured are you and how bad it must feel, how awful it must be for you. But what have you done about it? Typically in response to my question, I hear things like, well, I've tried talking to my boss, but it just didn't go anywhere and nothing's changed. But best yet, I hear things like, I just keep trying to teach them, but they're not listening. Now I've been around the block and I know that there's two sides to every story. And sometimes you might really be stuck between a rock and a hard place. But I also know that the majority of the time we haven't looked at this from all angles and you're probably torturing yourself unbeknownst to your company. How do we know the difference? Well, let's self assess here. How long have you been with the company? Are there other designers that are having the same struggles as you? And are there other designers who seem to be getting along just fine? It might just be that you've not been able to build trust with the company yet. For better or worse, maybe they need you to build trust as opposed to just having it straight out of the gate. In either situation, what have you done to build greater trust? What have you done to build greater confidence? I can't help you here with a magic bullet, but I can pose these questions and allow you to do an honest assessment. If there are designers who seem to be moving along just fine, then the chances are it's not the business, it's you. If there aren't other designers around and you still think it's the business, then let me pose a challenge to you. How clear have you been in articulating your projects, your expectations, and your journey with the business? And how do you know you've been successful at communicating those things? It might also just be a miscommunication issue. Last week on Instagram, I posted a quote that said, the single biggest problem in communication is an illusion it has taken place. Talking at someone is not communication. Communication by definition is the exchange of information. Are you exchanging or are you talking at someone? When they're attempting to exchange information, are you actively listening or thinking through the next steps? Or even worse, are you thinking about how little the business understands? If you find yourself in this victim situation, take a step back and self-assess. Take a breath. At the end of the day, you have a job, you have a paycheck coming, and hopefully your needs are being met. Life isn't that difficult in the grand scheme of things. Don't play the victim. Instead, take the next steps to fix the situation. In order to do that, the other party's gonna have to be involved. If you're still struggling on how to do that, then sign up for a coaching session and we can do this assessment together. The truth is, is that these aren't hard problems to identify. It's just that sometimes we're just too close to the subject that we're blinded by what's right in front of us. That's my rant for you today. If you got something out of this, then give it a like or subscribe and share it with somebody who could benefit from it. We'll see you next time.